Hello there guys and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to be showcasing all the new pops I've gotten from my collection since I suck at updating my channel nowadays for some reason. Basically I'm just showing you all the pops that I've gotten over this long period of time that I've been gone, which I apologize so much for, but let's not talk and delay the inedible, let's go ahead and get started right away. This is Hermione as a cat. This pop just came out not too long ago, but as you notice, it's a little different than what it's usually supposed to look like. The regular pop version has black eyes. I customized it so that it had green eyes to make it more movie accurate. I used the special green glow in the dark paint so that not only is her eyes green, but they glow in the dark. And yeah, there we go. I'm not sure if I covered this in a, in a previous video or not, but I got the Hot Topic girl right here. I did the buy two get one free and I got her for free. I also bought the Hot Topic Lilo and Stitch box. I got the Mystery Mini, the plush, and of course, the pop. Here we go. This is Tiki Stitch. It's scented to smell like pineapples, and it really does. It has a, a pretty good smell of it. And yeah, it's a really nice pop as well. I love the wood finish. I originally didn't want this pop, or the box rather, but then I watched a YouTuber unbox it, and I don't know, it just kind of grabbed to me. When Black Friday was going on, I also took advantage of GameStop's $8 deal. Every pop was $8, so I got Flocked Hedwig, the GameStop exclusive, for only $8. It looks way better than the Fooper over there, where it looked kind of ugly with the flocking colors. This actually looks nice. Very neat, very nice, and it looks perfect. I've been on the hunt for the Aladdin Pops for quite a while, ever since they've been released, and now that they've finally been starting to pop up in stores, I finally found a GameStop that had them, picked up the Genie, finally we have a Genie now that is actually affordable, not the $200 one, and this one looks way better anyway. I mean, look at that. That's fantastic. I also picked up the adorable Elephant Abu. This is when uh, the Genie turns into an elephant for Prince Ali. Very, very nice. And of course, I've gotten my very first movie moment. This is the magic cart ride scene. The famous I can show you the world scene. I love the details of her dragging her fingers across the water there. Very nice. It is a pain in the butt to display in your shelf if you have to make room for it, but uh, very nice for Disney fans. I got my first director's pop, which is Vince Gilligan. I absolutely adore Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul, so I needed to have him. And he is my first director's pop. I also got Young Gamora from the new Infinity War set right here. She has the knife on her fingertip, which is, you know, perfectly balanced. And yeah, very nice details with the hair color. Really like it. This one's a little special because it actually used to belong in a three pack, but I didn't want to pay for the entire three pack. I just wanted this specifically this one. So I was lucky enough to find someone on eBay that was selling it separately. This is Chip the Squirrel from Green Lantern. I love the design. I love, like, how he looks in the comics, his design, it's really cute and really nice. Um, and he used to be in a three pack with three other guys, and I don't know too much about Green Lantern myself, I just knew about shit more than anything else. So I just wanted this one, and like I said, I was lucky enough to find it separately. I mean, just look at him, he's like, perfect. Perfection. And of course, I've gotten the... I was gonna pass on this for a while, but I decided, no, I need this, sorry. This is the Flying Dumbo with Timothy, the Disney Treasures exclusive. Uh, yeah, I needed this one. Um, <laughs> It's a little smaller than I thought. I thought it'd be a lot bigger. Um, it's pretty much the size of a common pop, um, but it, it's okay. It, it's still very, very cute indeed, and uh, I'm really happy to have it. And now, the last pop we have for today, guys. This one is really special. That's why I've been saying it for last. Um, last Sunday, I went to Barnes Noble after doing some grocery shopping. I decided to just, you know, check by, see what they got. And I'm looking around. They have a crap ton of pops like the, it spread to the CD section it's uh near the books and a big end table in the corner they got displays they've been getting an overabundance of pops which is either a good or a bad thing um but yeah they had a pretty good selection but I'm mostly saving my money for other things I was just you know looking into what they have I was just about to leave and I decided to check out their big ass table they had for pops I go to check over and I see that they had a couple Twinkie the kids and in my head I'm like I know what pops are chases but I always try to test my luck to see if I could, you know, just find one. So I see the Twinkie the Kid. There's like one in the corner here and then one in the right hand corner over here. And I'm like, yeah, let me just test my luck. I grab the one to the left of me and I pull it up. That's right. This is the first pop chase I've ever found in person. Finally, after two years of collecting, I finally find a pop chase. Uh, this year, I managed to find a Dorbs Chase, and that is covered in the video as well, in Toys R Us. But, it's not the same. The Pop Chases are the ones that are always notoriously hard to find. And, for some reason, so many other people have more better luck than I do. Now it's changed! <laughs> I finally found one. So, finally. And yeah, I picked it up. This is Twinkie the Kid. 
in his retro colors. He has the white hat, red bandana, white gloves, white red boots. And yeah, I, I originally didn't want to get a kid, but after buying him, now I appreciate it more. <laughs> it's mind-boggling that I still have this. I found it in retail, and I'm very, very happy about that. This is definitely one of my favorite moments of the year, for sure. And that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching of this new update. Um, I will be acquiring more pops soon. The Lion King pops and the How to Train Your Dragons are a must, must want. I will be getting those, of course. That's pretty much it for now, so I hope you guys have a good, happy holidays, and I'll see you in the next video.